Okie doke. It is time to finish up the day. Ah, what is the day? December 3rd, 1941. And we have got a bomber escort mission to run. As I recall from the map yesterday. I guess I should say <coughs> earlier uh, this morning. Yeah, it's a little bit of a ways. Um, and considering that we'll be going at the speed of bombers, I imagine this flight will take some time. Depending, I suppose, in part on our... Uh, level of success but we'll just jump into it bomber escort missions not necessarily my favorite uh, they can tend to be a bit on the lengthy side and uh, depending on whether or not you run into anybody they can be pretty pretty long and boring as well Here we go. I'm going to go full fuel load because because who knows how long I might need to be out there. Let's just go. Let's get this done. Unclear to me where the bombers will be coming from here. There they are. See flares. I think. Oh, there they are. Yeah, they're above the clouds there. I'm gonna sit here in the number two spot, huh? Quick turn here. We gotta start climbing though. Come back to seven pounds here. Try not to overtake our lead. I thought this was the lead. Guess I'd better put those off. Just crunch a little bit of engine here. Let's 
sit right there, about seven boost, 2650. Should do us nicely. And then trim out a little too. Trim wheel moves real slow in this aircraft, which is fine. That's feeling pretty good. I think those are hurricanes ahead of us. The other three must be. Oh, and there's the bombers up there. Yeah, that's nice. Like geese. Pretty afternoon. It's cold. like a January, February over Minnesota. Not sure quite why he slowed down here, but that's all right. I wonder how easily we can actually keep up with bombers and uh, these birds. These birds are, these hurricanes are not speedy. Not speedy. I guess we're just going to be split up here. There's that forward group of three, and then there's us in the rear. Which is fine. It's really fine. We've climbed well above them now. Got to catch up. Can you imagine flying like an IL-2 in this weather with an open cockpit? Yeah. Or I'm not not an IL-2. Uh, I-16. Although any of these, I doubt they've got much, if any, probably none, as far as. Uh, environmental protection. I'm probably not a heated cabinet or cabin. <laughs> Getting my words not to write. But it's probably pretty cold in this cockpit. Bundle up, I guess. Yeah, we're honestly barely closing on the bombers. We may not have to do much in terms of weaving because we can hardly keep up with the bombers in the first place. What we do have to do is keep a good eye out for attackers. Incoming aircraft. I expect pretty much from now on we could have enemy fighters showing up. A little bubble. Is there a bubble anywhere in this? Oh, there's that right slip indicator. That's what they do in the European planes. had forgotten. Alright, there's somebody starting to weave there. That's good, that means we're, we did catch up to the bombers at least, so that's something. 
Now we just gotta stay up with them. Yep, there they are. All, um, Peshkas. E2. Nine of them. Now one thing you know for sure then is they will let us know if and when somebody shows up, the tail gunners will be going nuts. As good as the sound design is for this plane overall, it does seem like it's got a couple of quirks. One is that window air sound you might have just noticed where it suddenly like came on. The other I've noticed is that occasionally, well no, I guess all the time I've noticed when you cut back the throttle, the engine gets really loud. It doesn't make any sense. There goes the uh, window sound, just gone. And now it's back. So I'm not sure what that's all about. Just kind of coming and going. I'm a little surprised these bombers don't want to get a little more altitude. We're not flying all that high. Although it may be high enough that I should be running in a second gear. I forget when you're supposed to switch gear, but I sort of thought it was like 12,000, 12, which we are well above. Oh, no, we're not. We're at eight. Okay. Yeah. My bad. Push that back up to seven. And I'm not quite certain if I have those values right. I'll need to. I'll need to check that at some point. Oh, that's a reflection of my other wing, isn't it? How about that? Flaps aren't moving though. <laughs> that would maybe be too much to ask. Alright, we are literally over the border now. So far, it's been pretty quiet. thing I will say in favor of this winter weather, easy, easy to spot the strike package against the clouds. Probably would be harder against the snowy forest. Easy against the clouds. Oh, we got flack. Didn't spot at us. And now it's a question of how quickly can they scramble fighters? Get up here. And how far do we have to go yet? And it's still a pretty good ways. This really seems like kind of a deep strike for so early on in the uh, career. But I don't make the rules, I just follow them. Fire. 
That's one of our guys, Southwest Low. That would be straight ahead. I'm looking. I'm looking, I'm not seeing. There we are. One. One at least. Possibly one only. Right, he's already broke off, so that's something. Keep an eye out for others. I only see the one, but I don't want to. Us as a squadron, I don't want to overcommit here or lose the bomber group, which is moving that way. I'm gonna head back toward them because I see four four hurricanes fighting that guy, and nobody's protecting our bombers anymore. And it could be a decoy kind of thing. So as long as he is not... Which, that might be him right there. Outrunning the... All of us hurricanes. And making a beeline for the bombers. Oof. He's fast. Faster than me by a long shot. It's a little hard to protect the bombers, doesn't it? Being a slow fighter like this. Oh no, I can't do anything. Hmm. I will say it did not look like good shooting from the fighter. See what he does. He's not interested in me primarily, which is which is proper. There we go. He spotted me now. Yeah, you get off my boys. Couple warning shots there. Stay away from my bombers, boy. I gotta keep a good eye on the bomber group because they're flying southwest, so should be this way. Okay. I've lost eyes on the bombers. Oh. They are under heavy attack though. And far, far away. Oh, this is a chore. I'm beginning to think Hurricane doesn't make a great bomber escort. <laughs> but we're gonna try. Can't tell possibly another one on iron. He's flying away though. And if my mission is really well they must have an airfield over there. Some bad damage is probably going in for a landing. Which is fine. Keep some off our bombers. I'm looking at that guy. He looks too fast to be a hurricane. Okay. Temps are all acceptable. Helps that it's cold, you know. 
Looks like the fighter or the the bomber group is still intact. I don't see any even leaking, so I know they've been hit a couple of times, but it must never have been too bad. And I don't know about oh yeah, I see ya. Alright. I keep losing sight of the bombers. There they are. It doesn't take long. I mean, they just keep moving. I don't really want to dogfight this guy, but he's not giving me a lot of choice. That's the problem right now. And I also lost the bombers again. I know they're this way. They may have dropped down to um, get bombs off, I'm not sure. I'm a little confused by what I see here. But I see that 109 moving aggressively toward these two, which I think might be hurricanes. Watch out, guys. Oh, there's the bombers. Okay. Oh, these are all 109s. This is bad. I got three 109s and me. Okay. Let's push up a little bit here in terms of uh, we knocked one off. And then for another. I'm so slow, I can't can't properly engage these fighters. Not at all. He's coming over. <laughs> Sorry, bombers. I'm gonna have to leave ya. For a moment at least. I thought I saw tracers going by, now I'm not so sure because it doesn't seem like anyone's chasing me. Oh no. Yeah, whoever thought it would be a good idea to put hurricanes on bomber escort duty should probably be fired. Eww. Well, they are headed for home now at least. That's something, but it's not going to be good for How come tail gunners aren't that bad when they're shooting at me? That's a hurricane. So some allies have showed up now. About time. Bring that back down. Try not to cook my engine. There just isn't much you can do. I'm slow. It makes me think that if I've got to do this again. 
which I mean I probably will. And I'll do it differently. If I, uh, there, somebody found me down there. Oh, he needs help. If I can do anything. Oh, uh, he might lawn dart. Uh, nope, I think he's okay. I might lawn dart. You leave my boy alone. That bomber is under my protection. left back here, but, uh, I had to leave this guy some marks for chasing my bomber like that. This sort of behavior is just, it is not okay. I think he might be dead. can't tell. He stopped doing anything. He's just kind of drift, drifting in a circle. I think I'll let him go. For sure I don't think he's combat effective any longer. It's a hurricane. I'm Really certain. I need to get back to the, uh, the bombers if I can. It's going to be on a north eastern heading. They're still being harassed, I'm quite certain. Come back a little bit. My six. I've at least helped shake off two, maybe three fighters. I think so. If that's all I'm doing, that's still useful. Supposedly the career tracks all the planes on all the sides, and so if I can keep bombers afloat, that's a win. A good win. Would feel better if I could find the bomber group though. So, I may be too low. Let me really see him. Oh. There's something up there. Yeah, there they are. A little bit off course, aren't they? But I am low. Which means I will be coming into this battle with disadvantage. Perfect. What a mess this is. Is this really like in the fight itself? He might be in okay shape. But if you need to run or if they decide to run in either of those conditions, it's over. 
time you hit, you gotta really make it count. Nervous about that movement. That's a hurricane. I'm gonna take a peek at six here. Looks okay. There's a hurricane. Alright. Package. Whoa! That was almost pretty bad. I'm actually having some trouble. What the heck? Figuring out what's going on here. Quite confused. Let's come back. Come back here. There's obviously a fight. What I'm trying to do is figure out who the players are. Like, he looked pretty German, didn't he? Am I wrong? Am I crazy? It is surely German. I'm thinking diving like that is maybe not working for me too well. I think it just costs too much speed. A little bit of his right wing tip there. Kind of getting evasive here. Let's focus. All right, I'm gonna let him go. I'm not throwing my energy away to follow him. Make him climb up to me if he wants to re-engage. I'm going to keep flying toward the bombers. Honestly, smart move if you're him. So he can outrun me easy. And if I were to follow him, I'd just be throwing energy away. So let's keep going. Let's try and get back to... Oh, I'm around 8. That's just pretty good. I think... Bring back my boost just a little bit. Uh oh. There we go. It's black. Could be on me. Could be on the bomber group, which I am so looking for. Could be on that guy. Probably is on that guy. Let's head over to him. I can get there. Yaroslav Belov has been a busy, busy fellow this sortie. I hope to see a good number of downs out of him. I'm hoping he's not just all talk and no action. Breezy today. I wonder if I have rudder trim. I do. Wonderful. Oh. I wonder where the bomber group's at now. How many of them made it out? Not all of them, that's for sure. Ugh, crosswind here. It's 
thing really gets battered pretty badly in the wind it seems like. I even see the pedals shaking. Wow. That's interesting. Very interesting. Oh, where'd that guy go? I was following. He's gone. And he's faster than me. Oh, we're well on our way home now. Would feel better if I had the strike package in sight. But I know... that they were almost the same speed as us, which is why I think sending us in with them was probably a horrible idea. You want your bomber escorts to have speed, right? I would, I would think so. I don't know, maybe I did the right things, trying to stay with the bomber package until I was kind of forced off by being chased by someone I couldn't keep up with. There they are. You probably can't see that. I can barely see that. I've got this. There's like two guys up here close. I assume those are fellow hurricane pilots. I can't say that it was boring, that was really quite, quite a set of engagements there. Not sure I got anybody down, but I sent a bunch of guys home anyway, so I'm packing. It starts jumping around like that, I'm always afraid that it's like my engine conking out, but I think my engine's fine. I think it's just the wind. There's little gusts. Same thing on uh, this morning's flight. It's just gusty. The map there is pretty cool. Height and airspeed computer. Wow. Look at us. I don't think I'm dragging anybody back with me. I was a little concerned about that with that one guy that kind of dove down that I was chasing for a minute and I decided not to follow. I was a little worried he'd come back to, to bite me. I don't know what that is. Sort of looking to see if there's any uh, flap indicator. that indicator just about anywhere. Heh! 
Well, somebody I put rounds in just went down. I think Yaroslav's having a hard time getting out. Oh, wait. Is that me? Am I Yaroslav? Now I'm all nervous because I think that I might be. And in that case, what fighter am I engaging? I haven't seen anyone shooting at the bombers in a while. Yeah, that's disconcerting. Unless that popped up as a result of the fighter I downed or something. Normally that means that a pilot has seen something. Hmm. Yeah, it's sharp, I guess. There's our bombers. Ah! Look at that. Well... Lousy engagement here. Not sure how to get to him. Here we go. My pilot definitely saw somebody. I mean, we're in my territory now, but like... No way. I will follow you, I will hunt you down. I am getting low on ammo though. Boy, this guy's got moves. Out of ammo. Let's hope he heads home. I shot him up pretty good here. Nope, nope, he's not going home. It's gonna be all kinds of trouble for me. Make him go fast. See if he's dumb enough to follow me right to our airfield. Oh, I'm willing. Try and outrun him with a dive at an opportune moment. push over to the left a little bit here. I can't tell if he's following or not. Yeah, somebody's on me. Still. Keep it open just a crack. I'll hit the deck here. Try and go fast. Hurricane is just not that fast. The thing that worries me about this situation is that a good hit could put me into the trees, which would be the uh, short end to a career.
Yeah, I'm now chuckling about my comment about uh, Yaroslav being such a chatty fellow. I'm Yaroslav. Belov. Man, this is slow going. It's painfully slow. Just waiting for him to feel close enough to shoot. Well, it seems like the distance is growing. It was 3k, now it's 4, maybe 8. Maybe he's off me. Hard to say. Just keep flying. I think maybe for whatever reason the mission is not a success. I guess I don't know, but there's five now. Yeah, it seems like maybe we're okay. I don't know where the bomber group is now. Also, is that my fuel? Pretty low. Ooh. Rough landing, maybe? I don't know. From Yakov. Yeah. Hey, I guess we were successful. We were just waiting for the bombers to get close enough to home. Alright. Good deal. I was wondering. I think the one guy broke off me. So now I just gotta put down. Switching through is due north of me right now. Got to make sure I don't end up at the wrong airfield here. I see you guys landing up there, but it might be the bombers. This, I believe, is my airfield. What a horribly difficult mission in hurricanes with no speed. Well, this isn't it. My other field's a little further on, yet. Ooh. I better watch carefully. That makes it seem like somebody's still around. So, hmm. <laughs> something got him, I guess. All right, let me try and find the actual airfield. There it is. Uh, okay, winds that way. Notice how the engine sounds get real loud when you throttle back. Doesn't make sense.
won't be my prettiest landing, but we'll make it work. Sleep well this virtual night. Got into plenty of scrapes there. One plane, it says. I'm curious if it shows the one guy that went down right near. Uh... Yeah, there's a Peshka. They did a little damage down there. Okay, he died at the airfield, or wrecked at the airfield, he not necessarily did. And another pressure going down there, that must be the one I tangled with there at the end. No, oh, that was over here, I guess I'm not sure about that one. We lost a lot of Peshkas, didn't we? Hmm. He went down right there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what went down. Now well, let's see if my guys made it out at least. We'll see. I'm thinking they probably didn't get anybody, but hopefully they're all okay. Rublays. Yeah, we're all fine. I was the only one to get anybody. So the day stole this fella. Didn't know him. I know he was new like I am, but uh, that's all I knew about him. Otherwise, it seems like everybody made it back. So that concludes December the 3rd. Cold. The next day is cold and high clouds. Oh, enemy plane spotted across in the front. Looks like I've only got one mission today, and it's intercept bombers. Heck, let's do it. Let's do a second mission or knock out another day here while we're in here. Yesterday, or the last mission was really wrapping up the previous day, so we can kind of flush up here. Let's just do it. Bomber intercept. I'm definitely more well equipped for that in a hurricane. Since bombers are a little more my speed. Alright, not really much to set up, although I think I will dump some fuel because we're not going real far. It's likely to be a shorter mission. I'm guessing they won't let me change my loadout. I'm curious if there would come a point when they will. Like you play long enough, you get some new planes that have some different loadout options or something. Reinforced by some newer hurricanes. Be pretty sweet. Alright, we just gotta scramble here. Ah, oh, there it is. We got a strong crosswind, I think. Look at how these guys are taking off sideways. That's going to make this real tough.
Definitely think we're dealing with some weather here. Okay, this tour is a red, a red indicator. Where did they go? I looked at my instruments. There they are. Okay, we're just flying low. I was like, no way did they just all disappear. You're leaving combat area. I'm following my guys. Turn west. Well, this is interesting. Hope I don't get kicked or something here. There you go. And we're spotted in a new location. Alright guys, we gotta move. They're all kind of slow. Pretty much got to fly in this direction for a while. It's actually a pretty good clip over to where they've been spotted. This plane does not move in a hurry, I'll tell you that. out a little bit here. Got to turn a little too nose high. Yeah, they're way back there. Come on, boys, let's move. Oh, that's just a little way in there. Rad temps seem a little bit high. gotta watch out for is whatever fighters are gonna be protecting these attackers. Oh, they're close now. There they are. I see them. I see them. Which sort of makes me feel like we were, you know, a little misinformed. Maybe they're just giving us an intercept point. Yeah, I think he's got eyes on him now. Just hoping none of my wingmen crash into me. Had some bad experiences with that in career mode. 
All right, guys, we have a game plan. Or are you just going to keep swinging back and forth so that I can't form up without getting in the way? I guess, yeah, they are there. They're just going to keep swinging back and forth. All right, well, forget that. I would like to have some altitude before we engage this strike group so that I can come on them with a little more speed than you would normally have in a hurricane. Now, leader guy, I respect you as an individual and as a leader. I think you may be making a mistake this time. Also, why are we flying away from the strike group? I'm also not real interested in fighting them uh, alone. Oh, I see. Okay, so yeah, this is an intercept point, and we're circling it until they show up. That seems to be the gameplay here. And I see them. It looks like nines. Probably JU-88s or something. A little high on RPM. Turn to cook. Yeah, I see them, and I would prefer to be above them. I would prefer to be even higher above them. Yep, I spotted them. Now they're moving. Nine kilometers, huh? Pretty good. Spotting for me, man. Now, are they gonna move or keep circling? It seems like they're headed kind of a funny direction here. Uh, not sure. Where's the attack group now? Where is literally anybody now? Oh, I think we've got both questions answered. I'm not gonna lie, I don't see any 109s up here, so let's go. He's got that one, I'll go to the... Try and stay up above him. What you want to do is hit him at hard angles, wherever you can. Just keep their gunners busy. That's the whole game. And break off. Oh, I caught him on fire. I caught him on big fire. Oh, and I've got a 109 on my tail. All right. Two 109s on my tail. Uh, they are not happy with me. Don't black out, don't black out, don't black out. I need to head home if I can here. Ah.
Bad, bad situation. Not interested in bad situations at all. to leave the group like that, but there was at least two, maybe three 109s, and they were hugging me a lot better than, than I normally would expect, and I am not taking that kind of risk, especially not with low ammo and with mission accomplished, like, get out, just get out. kind of took an opportunistic escape there. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. Let's see if we can get a little more out of this. And if I've got to fight him, I'll fight him. I still have some ammo. See him back there. Oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna try and take advantage of his extreme energy advantage. Yeah, pal, because if you try to turn fight me, I'm pretty sure I win. By default. I'm in a hurricane. Thing flies like its flaps are always down. And I have more ammo than I thought I did. Oh, he's done. He's on fire. what you get. Alright, check temps. Open up a little bit. There's another one. Alright. Alright. He's a little further away. works in my favor a little bit. Lost eyes on him. Possibly not good. I thought he seemed farther away. Maybe he's, maybe he's gonna leave me alone. I don't see him. Head north here. Still don't see him. There's the radiator back up. I'm thinking we're okay now. That was exciting. Yeah, I reversed it on that guy quick. Uh, I figure... Hurricane's darn good as a defensive fighter. Because you can really quickly turn the tables on someone. So he was coming up behind me fast. I knew I could, be, I could evade his initial pass there. 
probably no problem. And then I'd be right on his tail, and if he tried to turn fight with me, I'd have him for sure. All right, let's bring it on in. Bring it on in. Watch out for enemy contacts. Let's try and straighten out. Let's add a little bit. Let's put a little bit to try and hold around 180. Sun right in the eyes. Oh, there's a uh, anti-air gun going off. Hope I'm not about to get shot. Let's put the hood back on just in case. And uh, get out of here as quick as we can. but uh, yeah two planes one light one heavy nice that might be the first time in a career I've ever taken down a heavy plane not too bad and definitely got that light plane that was pretty nice let's see how the boys did Okay, though he made it home. He brought his brought his bird back. Just just got injured, so he'll be out for a day or two probably. But otherwise, should be okay. Okay, good, pretty good mission then. Um, yes, a little disappointed that my boys never seem to do anything. But you know, it is what it is. He is wounded, so we'll be at we'll be at eight for the next day, I guess. Let's uh, see. The next mission is up. I'm not in it, so let's let them do their thing. See how they do. Oop, another wounded. And yeah, now they get two planes. One heavy. They got two heavies. Yeah, maybe I should not fly with them more often. They seem to do better without me. Now we've got two guys wounded. But hey, they're alright. Hurricanes are keeping them alive, so... This isn't bad. Alright, that wraps up the 4th of December, 1941. Very good. 
I would say the war seems to be going all right so far. Some exciting missions, but uh, we're doing well. I feel like I don't really know the guys, though. I should really, uh... Oh! Cutscene! This is like Russian offensive, I think. Uh. All right. Well, they've got me on two missions in the next day, but both of them look like the sort of mission that I can pretty reasonably support in a hurricane. None of those bomber escort business. That was pretty awful. However, I think uh, this is going to be another mission for another day. I'm just looking at the map here. I don't have a good feel for how this compares to what it was, but it does, to me, kind of feel like we've got a good push going. Which the main downside of that is, assuming I keep flying out of this airfield, the missions are going to be longer and longer. But, you know, that's all right. If that's the, if that's the price we must pay. I wonder if you can transfer to a... Another airfield. I think maybe you can. I'm not saying I'm gonna, I'm just saying. What, you know, what if? Peshkas. A lot of MIGs up here. MIGs a good plane. Mile twos. Yeah, it seems like they've got a lot of MIG. Mile two, mile two, Meg. Don't know what the f oh oh I see okay I sixteen and Meg. P forty interesting, and Hurricane. So this is where I am. That's my airfield. Okay, still probably. Probably one of the better ones there, I guess, is some other forward ones up here like this. IL-2. A lot of IL-2. Um, and Peshkas. So I'm seeing now then that there's really not much, uh, not many fighter air bases to even provide fighter covers. So I guess they've got to make do with what we've got whenever they do go on bombing runs. Oof. All right. Well, that's going to do it for now. We will do another day. Uh, another day. All right. Bye.